one thing I, I've really gotten into too since I've been in this holistic health space and uh, you started to understand that, you know, how hormones work is the cortisol steel, the pregnenolone steel, the idea that when you're cranking cortisol, when you're cranking stress hormones, it's physically impossible for your body to make all of the other hormones you need. So like a lot of guys are short on testosterone. And so you look at their lifestyle and it's like the, the hard charger guy working 70 hours a week. You know, he's, uh, you know, running around drinking on, uh, you know, five days a week, maybe has like a, you know, a little drug issue, maybe has just, I mean, all kinds of stress going on. Where does this guy uh, or you can even say the same thing for females who, you know, have a hard time getting pregnant. You know, they, they, don't, they don't have a regular period. Skin's a mess. Everything's going on. Uh, it's simply because you've allowed and not to not to, you know, demonize cortisol because it's absolutely 100 percent necessary. Like you said, you need it to survive. You know, you need it for a lot of things, but it's the chronic release and the chronic expression of stress hormones that really does a number physiologically on your regular hormone production, which of course is going to translate into mood and other physiological disorders. Right. And, and if we're, and, and, and it all comes down to this fundamental balance of safety and, and threat, which is real and perceived at the same time. Right. So if we, but it's up to the only people, the only person who can remind us that we're safe is us. Other people can only do so by giving you a hug, right? When you're alone and you're, or you're, you're by yourself in a stressful situation, the only person who can remind you that you're not being chased by a lion in that moment is you. And, but that, again, that's, that requires some skill and some practice to remember to breathe in moments of stress, to remember to do self touch on your chest or on your neck or on your ear, way on your hand, when you're in a stressful situation, all these kinds of things, playing soothing music, right? All these things can be really helpful because they all activate that stress that it, they, de they decrease the stress response activation and they increase the parasympathetic recovery activation by nature of reminding us that we're safe enough to feel the soothing feeling, which is how Apollo works as well, right? If you're safe enough to feel and pay attention to the vibrations of Apollo, the gentle soothing vibrations, just like a, someone holding your hand on a bad day, then you can, or the feeling of a deep breath, then you can't possibly be running from a lion in that moment. Our, our nervous system would absolutely not allow us to pay attention to our breath or to the feeling of a gentle vibration or soothing touch if we were running from a lion or in an immediate survival situation. However, thank goodness, most of us are not running from lions these days, right? We just have too many emails, too many responsibilities, too much traffic, too much news, right? Too much incoming stimuli. And that is still threatening to us perceptually, but it's not survival threat, right? So we have to remind our bodies constantly when we're facing the, the stressors of modernity that the current our current lives that this is not a survival threat. It's, if it's a survival threat, we want that system to engage and it will, and it, it absolutely will, but it's not going to engage to the extent we want it to if we're not fully recovered. So for all those times where we're not in a survival situation, learning these techniques or using a tool like Apollo could be really helpful, especially for those who have never learned deep breathing or meditation or yoga or any of these strategies by just giving you something that helps to balance the nervous system, bring your parasympathetic up and your sympathetic down a little bit so that they're more in balance so that when you wanna be in flow and clear and focused, you can. When you wanna socialize without worrying about what other people are thinking about you, you can. When, I, you, know, when you want to sleep without worrying about what you're gonna to have to do at work tomorrow, you can't, right? And that's really what gives us the boost of recovery that breath work does and helps train us over time to be able to tap into that on our own.